Thank you for listening to Mission 316, bringing you closer to the world. In the truth of God. Kaya it becomes just information sa imo kag sa ako. Ando mo na mo naman dali, burong agin basa kag. Di ba? Kamo nga makagraduate sa college. Congratulations sa inyong diploma. Congratulations kay nakaubra ka mo. But, kung balikan mo bala, how much more, how much ang ina nga information ang nagbago sa inyong kabuwi? Because compare sa Bible, hindi na sa transformational para sa atun. So we will be talking today about the power of truth. May gahumba ba lang ang kamaturahan sa atong generation? May, ba, may gahumba wala. May ara. So we'll be talking about the power of truth. So many claim to be Christian but they're only, but they're not really true disciples. Si si mean kay because under ka sa network or under ka sa discipleship, true ka gin nga disciple. Ano po si lingon siyang being a true disciple? How? So, being a disciple is that we need to obey the truth. We just don't know about the truth, but we need to obey the truth. Wala talang nang ginabasa, pero ginakabuhi. Next is that, it doesn't mean that we need, uh, as taking the title, black because Christian family ka, or haling ka sa Christian family, it doesn't mean nga ikaw mismo Christian. Why? Because pwede tayo hambal ng Kristiyano ta. Pwede ko hambal ng Kristiyano ko, pwede ko mambal ng pastor ko, pero pagwa ko di karon kung wala ko kinalain sa mga barkada ko, kung ano pa mo yayaw nila, mas grabe pa ko. Kung wala ko di karon kinalain sa ila, then wala. Ang akon nga ginahambal, gets nyo? Wala sang power, sang kamaturan, sang Diyos, kung wala siya nagatranslate sa akon nga aksyon. Kusa mas ang Bible, faith without works is dead. Pero hindi ko gusto nga i-justify nyo nga dapat, amugini dapat, amugini na. Hindi na muot silingon. Buot silingon, it is a byproduct. Labo ang isa katanom nga healthy. Labo ang isa katanom nga sa iya nga season in itself. Hindi siya mamunga. Sakto? Kaglabo ang isa katanom nga saging mamunga, lumboy. Sakto? So knowing the truth and the truth will set you free. So if we have known the truth, if we have been declaring the truth and we still remain arrogant, I don't think that is the byproduct of truth sa itong nga life. So hindi ka mo maglalayan kung nagasinggit ko kaya doon ginasinggitan ko muna kung kaugalingon. Alright? Ang mali mo tapad, kalma ka lang. <laughs> So truth doesn't set you free, but knowing the truth that translates eventually to the transformational life, paagi sa truth sa Lord. Like today, damut na mo gidya truth. Kung panong dumu mo lang, sino sa inyo? Di alam mo ba yung kamot? Sino sa inyo kadi busunal sa Facebook? Sir, nagbasa ko to sa scripture, sir. Di busunal na tu. Oo, nagbasa ka. Pero ginpasulod mo bala sa ulo mo, ginmeditate mo bala, but si lingon, nagpungko, agiging panungduman. It doesn't mean gagin basa mo, naging truth na sa sa imo. Yeah, maybe you feel good. Yeah, maybe na-inspire ka. Kag naging hugot mo, ang sadya pa kung gin-share mo pa. Sir, gin-share ko to, sir, but si lingon, sir, nag-devotional ko, sir. Pero kung wala siya nagabag o sa ito ang kabuhi, it always just may nasa information. So tandaan natin that there is always a constant battle between truth and lie. Therefore then, if God is the author of truth, then the devil, sino? Then the devil is the author of lies or he is the father of all lies. Nga anam, bal mo na pastor or nam, bal mo na bro. Okay, let's jump sa John chapter 8 verses 43 to 45. John chapter 8, verses 43 to 45, it says, Why is my language, this is Jesus talking, Why is my language not clear to you? Yung pamangkot niya sila. Because you are unable to hear what I say. You belong to your father. Sino? The devil. And you want to carry out your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning. Not holding to the truth, and there is no truth in him. 
When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. 45. Yet because I tell you the truth, you do not believe me. Note, Jesus didn't call Satan, Satan, sa amuning nga scripture. Pero anong ginambal sa iya? He is the father of all lies. Gindirect ni Jesus kung anong description ni Satan. Hindi lang ang iyang angalan. Or even that Jesus didn't call him the fallen cherub, but called him the father of all lies. So kung para may sindihan ta ni nga mas madalum-dalum gamay, Hindi ka mo magkabalakan, hindi ka malumos ha. Gamay-gamay lang. So, ang diferensya sa isa ka nanay kag sa isa ka tatay is that the father is the one who gives or donates the seed then the mother, no matter what you think, kita ba lang ang mga lalaki, kung wala kita sa womb, hindi kita kita ya babayi. Okay lang. May pagpalangga na ha. Biskan, ano na itong kapag panumdom, wala kag feeling na amugin niya, Pastor! Huh? Kung wala kita sang womb, wala ko na yung may maubra kay amuna ang power sang truth. Amuna ang alis ang Bible. So hindi ka magamba nga ginimu-himu lang din namun kay amuna siya ang ginambas ang Bible. So ang nana is the one who receives the seed and cultiv- cultivates ang inang seed kag gets in- impregnated with that seed. So buot si Lingon, amun ni Galeo, Ang lies ang enemy, wala gid sa power sa imo kag sa akon kung hindi mo pagbatunon. So hindi na itong pagkamiton ang rason nga, I was born this way. <laughs> hindi na itong mabatunon dapat kaya because of... Walk up like this. Kung isang isa pa ka-speaker, walk up like this. Pero before sa nag kwa sa kuno sang selfie nag make up sa anay tapos nagbalik sa kuno sa katrail what kag nag picture walk up like this pero sa tuod lang ni natuod kag paano nga pag walk up like this nga pag bugtaw mo may fake eyelashes ka na kung may fake eyelashes ka palog hindi ma-offend ah hindi na bilog nga context ang ginabuot ko si lingon what si lingon is that we are trying to fill voids or sa aton nga kabuhi ano mo si lingon sang void mga emptiness or mga empty spaces ang aton nga life sa ini nga mga bagay sa mga lies ang enemy, sang lies ang kalibutan, sang lies sa aton, sang mga tao nga nag-expect sa aton. Pero kung ang ina nga expectation, kung ang ina nga, nga standard wala, na suno sa pulong sang Diyos, yes, tanan nga relationship, ginagyan mo. Halin sa gwapa, pakad to sa. Halin sa kay number one, pakad to sa. You will always, always remain empty because there is no power in that. Hindi ka na maset free. No wonder why some of us are sa position subong sa kabuhi ta nga we are in trouble. We are in a position right now in our lives that we are depressed. We are in a position right now that we are sad. We are in a position right now nga grabe ka ja ka empty behind those smiles, behind the facade when you're alone. Kabalo ka gid ko nung inang feeling. When you remain idol Kag wala kami ginobra para sa Lord. You know the feeling. But we thank God for the power of His truth. And today I pray that His truth will set you free. Palapakanda ng Ginoo. So when we receive that lie, that lie begins to propagate, then it begins to grow. Then it will get to a place that becomes a full demonic force that will control our lives. I don't think ang mga iban ba lang nag to take their lives away. It just didn't happen in one day. I don't think na one day nag-wake up na lang sila kag nag-think nga, sige, subong na ang day. Wala na sila. I don't think it was day after day, emotions after emotions, heartaches after heartaches, hurts after hurts. Wala ta kabalo kung ano yung lang through. Pero I do believe that time comes. Remember, the enemy has come to steal, to kill and destroy. And he comes in, nga hindi siya pala nga nag-present sa iya, nga, nga self lang, oh, hello, ari ko din, hindi na siya muna. But he creeps in in our emotions. He creeps in sa aton social media. He creeps in in our text. He creeps in sa, sa aton nga daily, nga kabuhi, kag-interaction to sa tao. But you know what? If you refuse to receive that lie that the enemy is trying to throw at you, wala na siya power. Pala pakanda mo yung So sometimes we don't grasp that the enemy 
As he is the father of all lies, this is what he was doing from the very beginning. Ang muna gin manin siyang kadaan. But we thank God because truth takes out the lie. So nga akilan lang ta magtindog sa truth, kakilan lang ta mabalaan ng truth because in freedom, you could give freedom to others. Tandaan natin nga kung kita mismo hurting, hindi kita makahatag sa freedom nga ginalong sa iba. Because hurting people tends to hurt others. So Jesus referred to him as the devil, as the father of all lies from the very beginning. So kung balaan na gid, gamay lang ang background, we need to go back sa Genesis chapter 3, verses 2 to 5. But I'll i-shortcut ko na lang because of time's sake. Actually sa verse 4, Adam and Eve received that lie that the enemy disseminated and they received it. They thought that if we eat of this, we'll be like God. Tandaan nyo gito, pero may ang ginambalbala ni Pastor Chris nga, Did God really say? Did God really say? So kung mamati ang do hindi siya nga do 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 hindi siya bala nga do question gid sa authority mis pero ko pamati do kanami pamatian bala pero tandaan niyo nga in the first place kung wala ka sa ina nga lugar to listen to that enemy wala ka dapat sa amuna nga temptation if this is the center of God's will kag permi ko ginagakabatian ganong Chris nga nami an kita to magpatibi kay dito sa pagpatibi naton sooner or later wala nang dagdag kita kag diin ka mas safe diri sa tunga or dito sa kilid They think to themselves, we won't die because He said we won't die. Di ba ang balian? Hindi ko mong ipatay ah. So Jesus asked, why can't you receive my truth? Because we are so full of lies that we can see the truth in front of you. If Jesus represented the truth sa ilang generation, how come they couldn't see the truth in front of them, speaking to them as the promised Messiah? Okay, sometimes if we are so full of lies sa itong life, we don't have room to receive the truth. No wonder why sometimes bala ako mag-share itong classmate, no, kung na-remember na, 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 na nyo, nag-share sila itong parte kay Jesus. Jesus, Jesus naman, hindi lang ngayon bala. Istoryan talang nila mga BTS, mga, di bala, pero mga BTS, gani, abtik. Istoryan talang nila parte sa NBA, istoryan talang nila parte sa, di bala, tsak to. Anyways, kung full kita sang lies, wala kita room sa truth. So ano po siling on? Our mindset has to change. Malay mo to ba? Our mindset has to change. So we don't work for His love. I work because I love Him. My work becomes a response rather than because my work, bala. It becomes a response because He's so good to me. I don't work to get His favor. But I work because I have His favor. When I'm wrong, para sa isa ka bata, di ba may consequences? Kita, ng mga ginikanan, may bata, di ba? Kung isa, ginapalawig, tapablaga, bingang grasya, isa pa ha. Tapos, di ba ito naman nila? Duha pa ha. Tatlo pa ha. Sa pa sa lima. Pero may aragid ang point nga, walaan mo nga konsigihon mo pa, bala? Kag hindi mo siya pagdisiplina, walaan mo nga magsigisigi, di ba? Kita ng mga ginikanan, kabalo kita na kag. Kung hindi na itong madisiplinahan na itong kabataan sa sulod siyang panimalay, bawang magwa, piling mo, madisiplinahan mo sila. Kasi kan, ano mo ka tayo, girlok? Buy-buy, hindi gani pag ang pangiki, mabuyuan mo ang pinggan ko huluya gani sa sulod. Kasi kan, ano mo ka muna si buy-buy kung wala mo siya gintudluan sa sulod siyang panimalay? Ang tayo, girlok mo, kasi kan mag-dragon lock pa na, hindi gina si buy-buy mamati. Pero kung sa sulod siyang panimalay mismo, namisok ka lang, pero balaan niya na ako mamisok ka. Nga isa na lang ha, tapos matime out ka. Kung hindi ka pagin mamati, isa na lang ha, pahagid ang imo nga katapat. Pagwa na, insindihan niya na na. Tsak to? Tsak to kag. But, biskan ano ko, for example, kaakig sa akong bata, kay Boy Boy, biskan ano ko kabakol, biskan ano ko kasaway, by the end of the day, wala naga kakuha ang iya nga pagasan sa akun or iya nga pag kung sa pag-abla nga bata ko sa gapon kag. Ka, sino sinyo gin bakol? Kagi bakol sa gamay ta. Hindi na lang magbayaw kamot kay kahuluya, no? <laughs> Especially yung bakol sa imo bla. Ang iya na bla sa military bla sa unang may bakol bla. Do every two, two inch may bakol bla. Anyways, sino sinyo pagtapos bakol? Kag gin bakol kamo sa ginikan ninyo pagtapos sa mambasa nga hindi ka na adorada. Dela. 
Kaya kayo muna kinamunod na yun kay kabataan, wala, di ba? Pero pagtapos na, ginasure nyo sa nga palanggat nyo sa lakag. Di ba? So muna nga, naglalag ko ang mga kabataan, subong in our generation, kung hindi na ito pag i, ano bala, kung hindi na ito sila pag i, hindi na ito pagbalansihon, sooner or later, makibuta nga sila ng kontrol sa ito. Cellphone, mami! Allowance, mami! Kung hindi mo pagkatang, hindi ka nila feeling love. Amen, mga youth? May nag-amen, kid. <laughs> Subot si Lingon naman niyo, we don't find value in what we do for Him. We find value of who we are in Him. Subot si Lingon nga, wala na itong ginapangita aton nga ba, Lord, kung nagkatrabaho kita para sa Lord. Pero kung sino kita nga ginhambal sa Lord. So, balikan na itong verse 31. Ang balikan, if you hold on to my teaching, you are really my disciples. He emphasized to hold on. Maghawid gid kita. Don't look at verse 31 doon. Maghold on kita sa iyang teaching because because it is constantly under attack. Like the enemy, nag-ask siya bala, did God really say? And sa aton nga generation today, truth is constantly being attacked. Pero nga akinlan na natong magtindog ang mag-hold on sa truth because truth comes by paano? hearing and hearing the word of God. Pero again, but how can we hear if we are full of lies? That's why we have to be open. Every time, every Sunday that we come in here, I hope nga hindi lang mala ang atong nga gindakuan, hindi lang mala atong nabalaan, hindi lang mala ang atong nga eksperensyahan ng atong saligan sa ining nga pagpangabuwi. No wonder why some of us are in trouble today. Because wala kita nag six ang counsel before we made that decision sa atong kabuwi. Ako, I have, to tell you, honestly, I have a lot of, of things nga, nga, nga part nga ginadil ko pa because of the wrong choices that we have. But you know what? It is not how we start in this life, but it is how we finish in this life. Nga hindi pa too late sa Yes, we made mistakes. But it doesn't mean nga hindi na naman correct today to change our future tomorrow. Pala pa ka namin ginoo. So today, we will discover the power of truth that breaks the lies of the enemy. So number one is that the power of truth, well, number one is to set you free. Ang malay pad set you free. So verse 31 to 32, it says, To the Jews who had believed Him, Jesus said, If you hold to my truth or hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. So how does the Lord set us free? Number one, it is to kung mag-hold kita sa iya or abide kita sa iya nga pulong. It means to continue practicing ang mga teaching ng Lord, which is din makita ang teaching ng Lord sa Bible. No wonder why it is so important to read our Bible. Grabe, kung magambal, no? This... It's a constant struggle, man, Zakon. But you know what? What I found out and what I realized is that it is a dis- discipline that eventually becomes a desire. Nga sa sige, 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 hindi ka nakasaw kung kisa matulugan nga hindi ka kabasa sa Bible. Nga kung kisa, hindi ka naka, ka, 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 hindi ka kaubra sa imulubrahon kung naanad ka na magbasa sa Bible. Ano ba't mo silingon, man? Ba't mo silingon naman niyo? Sang una, di ba natakaan, tas ang una, kung si Binan, tas ang ginikanan, tapos before ito mag, mag, magtulog, sinong sinyo ang muna? Ako lang kitang anis, di ba? Pati ha. Anyways, kung inaubra na nila sang una, subong bala nga nagdako ka na hindi ka nakasaho, nga hindi manibin before ka magtulog ka. Because it was a discipline that becomes a desire. Sino sinyo nga enjoy? Before ka mo magtrabaho, nga huwag ka mo gamanot brush. Di ba wala? Nga man, kaya hindi ka nakasaho. So it's the same man sa pag-treat sa words ang Lord. Sometimes abi kay gina si parar tabi ang sa normal life ta kag ang ang kayo di mo sunali ati itreta gid nga do. So sobrahan ta kung kisa ka ka-re sang standard bala kag hindi ta sa pag-treat nga part sang atong pabuwi. Kina balaan ta nga importante ni para sa pagpanot brush. Di ba? Sakto? We make a big deal out of it nga sometimes ang fear nagakripple sa atong kay basi bala kulang sa chapter raw. Kasi hindi ko pala ka- katapos. Kasi damo na tabasi basi Kung ginubra mo na lang, nakatapos ka na tani. So that's number one. It will set you free by holding and abiding sa words ng Lord. John 15.5, it says that I am the vine and you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he bears much fruit. For, a, 
apart from me, you can do nothing. Nothing. Ano ang kinalain sa una sa pagpangabuhi natin nga wala kita sa Lord, kagara kita sa Lord? Di ba laging try to naman tanan sa una nga mag-change? Di nga wala kita nagbag-uaw. Di ba? Gintry naman tanan sa una, di nga wala kita sa ginatawag inner peace. Di ba? Gintry naman magpaano kilay. Shave, shave. Gintry naman magpakurit-kurit sa buhok. Di nga, after mo pakurit, after mo ano, nga ang problema mo. Di ba? Kita nga pamatanon. Sang una, nung gleno. Sang yang, sang wild, kasang free pa kita. Gintry naman tanan, tanan nga ilim nun. Tinga wa ito naka wala to naka wa ito nakabulig set free sa ton sa mga problema tang atubangon no. Kibuot silingon ang ina nga mga bagay wala na sila sang power only the word of God has the power to change us. Plapakan din niyo no. So next is being a disciple it means it is a byproduct of abiding sa teaching sang Lord. And tandaan ta nga you can follow one time and be a disciple because the moment you stop holding on sa teaching sang Lord hindi giman kita ya disciple. So wala dapat sang buya ay wala bilin ay sa ere. Amen? And next is that we need to know the truth or by knowing the truth. It means practicing Jesus' teaching where we can find the truth then only from there we will be free. Tandaan nyo sa life bala ni Judas kung mag-backtrack na bala, kaglang taon na bala. He has the best pastor kay Jesus. He has the best disciple kay Jesus. Sakto? Jesus was the truth. He was the life. He was the way. He was actually the only way. Sakto? But how come Judas Iscariot lost his place? Because he was being wise in his own eyes. Na kung hindi mo pag-iallow ang truth sa imong life, eventually, ang mga lies nga gina-speak mo, patihan mo na as a uh, truth. So no wonder why we need to base our feelings, we need to base our decisions sa words ng Lord. Dapat i-filter ta kita nan sa words ng Lord. Kaya kung hindi naton pag-base ang aton kabuhi, kagang aton decision sa words ng Lord, yes, we could make decisions, yes, nag-aamun ni aton nga feeling, pero hindi naton ma-experience na ginahambal sa Lord. Bala nga, siya ang aton nga hope, kagsama na ang aton nga future. I have come to Give you life, paraphrase, and have it to the full. So hindi natin maintindihan kung kailan siya ng fullness, sang word, sang Lord, kung hindi natin pagdiskubrihan ang iyang truth. So ano ganyang number one, the power of truth will set you free. Number two is, the power of truth will restore your sonship. Your sonship. Verse 34 to 35, it says, Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, everyone who sin is a slave to, to sin. Now a slave has no permanent place in the family, but a son belongs to it forever. So the power of truth will move us from being a slave into being a son. What's going on? We are authorized in everything that the original design that God has for us will be completely restored. I like, balang pagwali, balang ni Ma'am Val, parti ito balang sa nga, you are God's masterpiece. Kaya masterpiece, kaya man sa sang Lord. Each one of us was designed by Lord sa iya create, iya creative, kag-created purpose na i-fulfill mo na. Subot si Lingon, in other words, kung ang inventor nag-invent sa electric pan, hindi siya maka-decide one day, nga mga bala siya nga, hindi ko feel, so mag-electric pan, gusto ko maging washing machine. Pwede, hindi. Nga aman. Kaya because hindi na ang iyang creative, ka-created design. No wonder why, kita pala, puno na ito ng atong kaugalingon sa bisyo, puno na ito ng atong kaugalingon sa mga bagay nga hindi para sa atong lawas, no wonder why, nagabat sa kita ka. Kaya kung wala, tani, kaya kung gindesign na tani sa aton ka ugalingon, tani wala ta nagbatsyag, tani nagmaayot ah. Tani after sang isa kakaha, nagmaayot ah. Tingnan after sang isa kakaha, nagbulagan na yung kumuni misis mo. Tani after sang isa kakaha, di ba? Nagmaayoy mo ulo. Tingnan after sang isa kakaha, kulang pa. Di ba? Because hindi na siya ang creative design sang Lord sa imo kag sa akon. Amuna siya, amuna ang aton nga mindset, sang unang nga slave pa kita. So a slave has no permanent place in the family, 
Kagandaan pa ang isang attributes kung slave ka is that he can be sold at any moment. He can even be put, put, put to death in some circumstance. His position or status in the family is surely tentative. Furthermore, a slave is not free himself, so how can he possibly set anyone else free? If we are slave to sin, bala, hindi natin mabuligan ng iba nga maset free sila. So we can't be a change in our generation kung kita mismo, gapos pa kita sa ini nga mga bagay. Why? Because we are all products of our past but we don't have to be prisoners of it. If we hold on to, to our past, we do it at the expense of our destiny. Tandaan natin nga sometimes ang aton balang nga past, I was talking about this yesterday sa inner healing, nga sometimes our past is holding us back towards sa 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 hope or sa future nga gin-preparar sa aton sang Lord. Galing kung hindi kita set free kag aton nga mindset is still being a slave kag hindi be, being a son. Di kung son kaya balaan mong imo nga ano gani privilege. Balaan mo imo nga inheritance. Balaan mo imo nga status in life. Pero kung ulipon kaya, wala kaya kabalo. Di ba? Kung, 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 kung sa pag-abla, kung, kung ano ka lang, kung trapador ka lang, or upotan tabi sila si Bitimbang, huwag ka kabalo kung saan o ka i-fire, huwag ka kabalo kung saan o ka pahali noon ka. Di ba? So, muna nga kilala na, magiging magtrabaho para mga mayo. Muna, muna. Ito si Minga San, ka, hindi ka magtrabaho sa mayo, pero buot si Lingon, nga weather, ano man matabo ka mga desisyon mo sa kabu, you are still a son. Except if you decide to nga i-let go ang imo nga pagkasan. Pero no matter what, hindi na namadula sa imo. Because He moves you from being a slave into being a son. Romans 8 verse 15, it says that the spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the spirit you receive through about your adoption to sonship and by Him we cry, cry Abba, Father. Because He is our Father. When I had this revelation, Belanga, ang Lord has been always a perfect Father. Do hindi ko gini magpati mo kay I always relate to my Father here. So ang tatay ko yun, dari sa kalibutan, hindi kaya perfecto, of course. He was there, but adjacentis ang tatay. But I wasn't able to love my father unconditionally up until I have this revelation sa Lord nga that I was always being your perfect father. That was like, I think, one of the first times na batian ko ang, ang Lord ba lang ang nag-speak sa akin. Sino man na ba may ma-speak, no? <laughs> lang lang man ang devil. <laughs> Sakto? Kaya mo gimana eh, that's why we cry, Abba, Father. Sakto? So kung hindi natong magbasao ng Bible, why naganit ka balo kung sinong ka-speak sa aton? So no wonder why we are di- dictated by our feelings, by our thoughts, by our emotions because wala natong na-filter sa words ng Lord. Because the word of the Lord becomes eventually an anchor and hope to our soul. So when times are rough, wala kita sang balikan, wala sang nag-anchor sa aton ng kabuwi. But if you are a son, the word of the Lord will anchor your soul. So sonship delivers us from the different areas ng aton ng kabuhi. Romans 5, 9. It means that we have been delivered from the wrath of God. Romans 8, 1. It means that we have been delivered from condemnation. John 5, 24. It means that we have been delivered from death and hell. Romans 6, 13 to 14. It means that we have been delivered from the power of sin. 1 Peter 5, 8 to 9, it means that we have been delivered from the power of Satan. So if you're struggling with all, with some of these things yung mention ko bago lang, and nag-mention ko nga, you have been delivered, sitting on nga, He has won the victory already. We, all we have is to stand upon His truth and remove the legal right that the enemy has. How? By declaring sa iya kung anong ginhamba sa pulong sang Diyos. Amen. So Romans 8, 7, 8 verse 7, it says that now, if we are children, then we are ears, ears of God and co-ears with Christ. If indeed we share in His sufferings in order that we may also share in His glory. So a son is very different in his status because a son is permanent. He can exercise the authority and enjoy the privileges of his father. A son can be can free a slave and the former slave's freedom will be real and permanent. So tandaan natin nga, kita pala kung may ginabuligan, kita kung may ginawitnisan, pero kung aton nga mentality, kagwain na natin allow ang, ang truth, ang words, ang Lord, that we have been speaking Sunday after Sunday, the day. then, biskan ano natin ka, ka, ano bala ka, kabalos ang scripture, pero ay natin nga ginapasulod, natin nga ginapasulod, kagwain natin nga ginalaktan, it remains just in knowledge. But if you allow the Lord 
if, if you stand upon the, the, the powers and truth, sang, sang words, sang Lord, it will set you free and you will have the, the opportunity and kung sa the wisdom to lead others for Christ. Nga kilala na now because we need that for our generation. Imagine, Robinson 6, kung hindi kita magtindog sa itong generation, who will stand for our generation? People may look at us, nga doon, naguang kita, nagamutan niya, nagamutan na. But you know what? By the end of the day, ano atong responsibility sa atong nga, sa atong nga Diyos, kag sa atong nga generation? Will God be proud of us to welcome us dito sa langit? Well done, my good and faithful servant. Or will God say, depart from me because I don't know you? Think about that for a minute. Ano ang mga ginaprioritize naton sa kabuhi that will matter for eternity? Tandaan nyo ang atong kabuhi, di? Lipot lang ni. And this is nothing compared to it. So, if we are just concerned of our lives here, kung hindi natong magpanumdumon ang atong kabuhi after sa hindi nga pagpangabuhi, we are just consumed by the concerns of this world. We just consume kung ano ang next nga ibutang uh, sudaan sa atong lamisa if we're not going to be concerned of the things that are eternal then we have that the lies of the enemy had crept in sa aton kapu but today let it be that the power of truth will set you free pagi sa words ng lord palapakan tabi ang lord so number 1 is ano gani the power of truth will number 2 is it will restore your sonship last and number 3 is the power of truth will empower you to do his will Empower you to do His will. Verse 38, it says that I am telling you what I have seen in my Father's presence and you are doing what you have heard from your Father. So why is God entrusting us with His kingdom to bring here to earth? John 14, 12 to 14, it says that very I truly tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing and they will do even greater things than this because I am going to the Father, and I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. You may ask me anything for in my name, and I will do it. Sa atong malang generation, pwede ni magpass, pero hindi natin magkita ang kamot sa Diyos kung hindi natin pag-iwant. Kung hindi kita mag-content sa healing, hindi kita mag-content sa miracle, magpass ang inyong generation, maging part lang kita sa history. Do you just want to be part of history, but Hindi ka mo gusto maging history maker? Just wanna be part of history kag hindi ka mo makita, hindi nyo makita ang Lord, ang kamot sang Lord sa aton nga, nga generation. So those are, those are the things that that we need to challenge ourselves so to remind ourselves kung ano giman ang ginakabuhi ta sa nga kabuhi. Sigaraya 4 verse 6 B it says that not by might nor by power but my my spirit says the Lord. Acts 1.8, it says that, you, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and all of Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. So we need to be empowered to do His will because kung sa aton lang nga pamaagi, wala ginipakatuan. Because kung hindi yata pag-empower, ang aton makita, ang makita talang sa aton surrounding. But let me challenge you with this. Kung if I allow ta ang Lord to empower us to do His will, I do believe that there is strength beyond measure. I do believe that there is, kung sa baga, faith na mag sa to believe for our generation. Kung hindi kita empower to do His will, kag ang plans ang Lord sa aton nga kabuhay, kag sa aton nga generation, then we will remain hopeless. Then we will remain defeated. Pero kung i-allow nato ng Spirit sang, sang Lord bala, you will come to taste and see that He is good. Because His plans for us is to prosper us and not to harm us, to give us hope and a future. So sino sa inyo, before ko mag-end, sino sa, sa inyo kaagi ko rin te? Sinong Glenn lang. Ano feeling Nyo, sa nakurinti ka mo? Or ano feeling ta sa nakurinti ta? May, may mahimo ka bala kung hindi mag-react lawas mo? May mahimo ka wala? Wala, di bala mo na nga wala mo na gain? 
Giliwat. Diba? Kung gusto nyo matry mo ko rin, titan, dugan nyo na naangin ang asugao. <laughs> Kigrounded na. Pero hindi nyo magtandugan na. Anyways, can you help yourself if you've touched an open electric wire? Diba? Wala ka mo may ubra, diba? Kaya nagkurog na ka mo gani. So buot si Lingon, if we tap sa power sa Holy Spirit sa Ton Kabuhi, if we will contend for the power of the Holy Spirit, I do believe that He will empower us sa aton nga generation more than you could ever think or imagine. Ang tanan nga impossibilities nga ginalaktan mo, tanan nga feeling mo nga hopelessness nga ginaatubang mo wala sa imposible sa Lord to those who believe. Wala sa imposible to those who believe. Ang pamangkot is, do we believe? Ang pamangkot is, are we gonna stand for our generation? Are we gonna stand for our families? Or are we just gonna allow the enemy to come to steal and kill and destroy sang aton mga families, sang aton nga society, sang aton nga city, sa aton nga nation? If we allow this bill, if we allow kung ano ang ang tinutuyo sang enemy sa aton nga nasyon, sa aton nga family, sa aton nga nas, sa aton malang nga, 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 nga society, then of for us of doing nothing, naghatag kita sang permission sa ila to destroy us. For the enemy to come to steal, to kill and destroy. If we don't allow the power of truth na mag-empower sa aton. But again, the power of truth Mag-transform lang sa aton. It will set us free. It will restore our sonship or our position sa Lord. It will, it will, kung sa bagay, it will empower us. Kung discover on ka ang power niya sa iyang apulong. If you believe that this morning, I want you to close your eyes and bow down your head. I want you to make a resolve right now that whatever it takes, that you will fight for your family. That whatever it takes, you will fight for your husband. You will fight for your wife. That whatever it takes, sa aton na generation, we will contend for revival. We will contend for healing. Come on, let's pray. Begin to open your mouth. Kagang desire mo bala sa Lord ihambal because there is power in our words. Hindi lang pag ipanumdumon, hindi lang natin pag ibutang natin sa aton na heart. Come we just... Kung sabaga ihambal natin sa Lord, Lord, amun niya akong desire sa akong family. Lord, amun niya akong desire, Lord, sa akong nanay, akong desire, Lord, sa akong tatay, Father. Salamat, good Lord. Salamat, good Holy Spirit. We invite you to this place. We know that you are here. You are in us. That you are for us. That your promises are still yes and amen. We thank you, Lord, for such a time as this that we just could come, Lord. That you would remind us, Father, that your words, the power, O Lord God, of your truth will be found, O oh God, Lord, in abiding sa imo, in holding sa imo, Lord God. And we thank you, Father, that you have set us free. We thank you, Lord God, that you have restored our sonship. We thank you, Lord God, that you have empowered us, O oh God, to do the things, O oh God, that we thought, you know, impossibly, you know. Lord, we choose today to rely upon the power of your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Salamat, it, Lord. Salamat, good Lord. Salamat, Lord Jesus. Thank you for listening to Mission 316, bringing you closer to the Word.